Well, how you doing? And welcome once again to our online Sunday school. You may be wondering why I'm wearing this fishy hat. Well, I'll give you a clue. Today we're going to talk about water. We're going to be talking about our baptism. Right. What, what's used in baptism, right? There's a clue. What's this? This is a, a shell I have that's a, a light. But the shells that remind us of water, right? And it's a symbol for baptism, the water used in baptism. When I baptize, I actually use a little shell and scoop the water out and pour it on the on the head of the baby or sometimes an older person. Okay. So, so that's what we're going to talk about today is our baptism. Well, first I want to talk about Jesus' baptism. Yeah, did you know Jesus was baptized? He was. We may wonder, well, why was Jesus baptized? You know, we, we know that we're baptized because we're sinners. We need to be made into children of God and be washed of our sins. But Jesus had no sin. You remember a few weeks ago we learned in that lesson when he was 12 and in the temple? Do you remember that? And that his parents left him behind and then they found him there. And he said, didn't you know I must be in my father's house? And we learned that that Jesus was right there, even at 12, when, when as, a, as a little guy, he was, he was not sinning. He never sinned. So, so why was Jesus baptized? Well, he was baptized so he could be united with us. To be united with us. What does united mean? Well, it means to be, to be joined to something. You could say right now, I'm, I'm united to this flounder hat, right? I'm, I'm joined to this, united to this hat. Right? The silly hat. But Jesus, in his baptism, when he was baptized, was united with us, with sinners. And where did, he, where did he take that sin? He was united with us all the way to the cross. And what did he do on the cross? Yeah, he died for our sins. And that's when we were made children of God. And our sins were forgiven. And etern eternal life in heaven was given to us. Now I want to talk about our baptisms, right? We know in our baptisms the water is used, and, and that's why I've got this fish hat on today, to remind us of our baptism in the water. And, uh, you know, when we were baptized, did you know that we were united with Christ? Yeah, we were united with him through the, through the waters of baptism. So we were, were joined with him, with his, his life and his, his death on the cross and his resurrection. So that we receive in baptism everything Jesus has done for us. We were in baptism, we are washed of our sins. What Jesus did on the cross is delivered to us. We are forgiven, we're made into his own dear children. You could say that we're made into his own fish, right? That swim in those waters, in those baptismal waters. And you know, did you know we never want to, we never want to leave our baptismal waters, but always to remain close to those waters and cling to them. You know, what, what would happen to a fish, let's say flounder here, if he was out of water? Right, the fish would dry up. It wouldn't live without the water. He might, be, he might die. Well, the same is with us as Christians. We need our baptismal water. And we, can, and, and, and we need to stay close to our baptism and, and, and remember it always. And, you know, we, at the beginning of the service, we make the sign of the Holy Cross in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit when we begin our worship services, right? By doing that, we are remembering that we're baptized, that that's the name of the God was placed upon us, the triune God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That name was placed upon us in baptism. So we remember that when we make the sign of the cross that we're baptized. We can do that in the beginning of the service, before and after meals, and it, uh, as we wake up in bedtime prayers, like, like it says in our catechism. But also, do you know, we, can, we remain in our baptismal waters as we remain in the church, as we as we read God's word and hear God's word read and preached to us, that's that's where God delivers 
his gifts to us. He keeps us close to himself and keeps us, keeps us in, in our baptismal grace. If you notice when you come forward for, for Holy Communion with your parents and I give you the blessing, I say, now may the Lord keep you always and bless you in your baptismal graces, in your baptismal waters. I say that all the time as a reminder that you're baptized. And did you know even when we, when we go to Jesus and we say we're sorry for our sins and receive his forgiveness, that's, that's part of baptism. See, in baptism, our sins were drowned with Jesus we were united with him in his death. Our sins were drowned. And we, we rose with him to in his resurrection. And the new person in us, the new creation of baptism, rises forgiven. That's pretty neat, right? See, that's how we're united with Christ. And we stay close to him as we always you know, stay close to our baptismal waters. Right? Just as I might stay close to my buddy here, right? Look at this guy. See, you know, if I were if I were really a fishing out there swimming in the waters, I'd be stay close to, I'd stay in the water, right? And so would this guy here, this whale, right? My buddy, right? You can almost say he's a, he kind of looks like me, right? He's got the the white with the collar, right? Like this here, my collar, the white and the black. Maybe are you a pastor? No, he's not, probably not a. Maybe he's a whale of a pastor, right? No, I'm just kidding. But, but no, we, we stay close to those, our baptismal waters. So remember that today, that you are baptized. And you're united with Jesus in that, in that baptism. You belong to him. Now we're going to hear uh, Elizabeth read about Jesus' baptism from the Gospel of Mark. So watch video two, and we'll see you soon. Okay, bye-bye.